All right, boo, this is for you. I did work out today. Let's see if I'm still in the shot. Mm -hmm. All right, I do my same old four hours exercise, but today I've got to stretch like extra. And I actually need to lift this up so I'm not scrunching my head, because that's gonna hurt. I'm gonna go a little taller. There we go. come down on the floor. I'm gonna put an elbow down and I'm gonna stretch it out. The upper back has been murder for a while. Oh, it hurts. Ugh. All right, Ugh. my lower back's been hurting too. It's not been a fun week. You know when they say everything hurts, we've hit that point. It's okay. Won't be like this forever though. I totally forgot to bring my mat and then I was so busy at work, I didn't have time to work out. Oh, I feel so good. Stretch it all out. All right. I'm going to kick leg up. Remember from the last time, I need to put this aside. Okay. All right. You're gonna kick it out, and you're gonna do 40, and you're gonna flex your foot. So not this, this. I haven't done this exercise for two weeks, so my boyfriend's getting after me. I was doing so good and I got off the bandwagon. Fire hydrants, we're gonna do 40 on each side. Oh, my nose always runs when I'm exercising. Stretch out the glutes, that butt, but coming into pigeon. Oh, Jesus. Whew, take the wheel. Definitely feeling it. Oh. Okay, 
I need to continue this band wagon release stretching. Second part of pigeon pose. Where you come up, square your hips, grab that back leg, hold it to your butt. As long as you can. Drop it down. Everything to the other side. Start down on your hands, or just drop it down. Whoa. And when you're ready, grab that back leg, hold it to your butt, and breathe. boyfriend that I am still flexible because I can still do a full extension on both sides. No one not answer. I just see dance models do it. So full extension out. Let's just breathe. One of the reasons why I can go so high is because I always go out to my elbow or my shoulder when I do the crunches. I'm only gonna do 10. If you want to keep your this part of your static, can you do it? Because then I'll feel it all right here. I'm going to do some ab work. I call this the rock. It hurts if you're doing it right. What you can do is put your hands up like this. You're going to take your legs like this so your core should be shaking. And you just work. Do it as long as you can. Keep everything straight. And if you're really flexible, just do anything but this. You can lift, kick up your knee, reach around your ankle, and gently pull. And then drop it down and do the other side. See, one side's more flexible than the other because I can kiss my leg. <laughs> okay, bring some of the weight back. Alright, now you guys are gonna do, you're gonna cross your leg, one right here, hand right here, one behind you and look behind you. And just kind of settle in. 
the superior lower back to your upper back. Just so everything looks behind you. Oh, that's actually really good. I'm gonna swap it. While you're in this position, you're gonna drop this knee. You're just gonna rest like this. This is called cow pose and yoga. If you're doing it right, your knees will touch. You'll stretch both sides of your hip flexors. On the other side. So you start this way, you pull this leg out. So both knees are touching, you're gonna to just press. My sister just texted me on my boo. Okay, let's move forward. Take this leg back. And then just come down on your elbows and chill. Alright. Great job, guys. We're done. <laughs>